Now I recognize Senator Wicker for a motion. Madam Chair, I move that S3262, the Freight Act, the Freight Act as amended by Wicker 1 as modified, and Scott 1 to Wicker 1 as modified, be favorably reported. Is there a second? Second. Is there discussion or a debate? Madam Chair. Senator Cruz. Madam Chair, I call up Cruz Amendment 1. Uh, this is yet another opportunity for the committee to address skyrocketing energy prices. Uh, and in this instance, to address it in a way that doesn't impact the Jones Act at all. Uh, more than a year after the Biden administration's executive order, put the LNG by rail rule on ice, we're still no closer to having an updated rule, and we're actually further away and in the middle of an energy crisis. American families are right now paying 200% more for natural gas to heat and power their homes than this time last year. So in one year, those prices have doubled. And in some parts of the country, they've increased even more. In November of 2021, the Department of Transportation moved to permanently suspend authorization of transporting LNG by railroad entirely while it goes about a new rulemaking or until June 30th, 2024, whichever is sooner. Why June 2024? We have no idea. It is a deadline that is arbitrary, as was the initial decision to review LNG by rail in the first place. Opponents say LNG by rail is dangerous and we don't know enough about it, yet we transport LNG right now by truck. And we know that rail has statistically fewer incidents than roadway transportation. If you're concerned about the environment, LNG by rail is better for the environment, pollutes less, and produces less carbon than LNG by truck. So a vote no on this amendment is a vote to keep energy prices high, to pollute more, to increase carbon, and to not take meaningful steps towards our energy security and independence. I would note finally that the White House right now is, is fond of the talking point that the skyrocketing energy prices we're facing in this country is the result of Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is responsible for a lot of bad things in the world. But the skyrocketing natural gas prices that consumers are paying right now is the result of this administration putting in place policies to hammer U.S. energy production and hammer the transportation of energy. This is a simple common sense provision that says we should be able to transport liquid natural gas, which will lower consumers' energy bills and will help the environment, will pollute less. And anyone who votes no, it's not Putin that are increasing consumers' energy bills. It is senators voting no and refusing to allow liquid natural gas to be transported so that they can heat their home with low-cost energy. Uh, speaking against the amendment, this amendment would prohibit the Secretary of Transportation from issuing any regulation or long-term order to prohibit transportation of liquefied natural gas by rail. This issue is incredibly important to my state and many states who see uh, this transportation through their communities. And when you have uh, rail that goes through every major city in your state and often through your downtown, these issues become very important. Rail cars are full of liquid natural gas. They can be a vulnerable to explosive incidents that can have fatal and devastating consequences. Tragically, we learned from the derailment in Lac Megantic, Quebec, involving a train which derailed cruding, uh, crude oil. In that case, the explosion level of the town center, and it took 47 lives. So it's difficult to imagine, but according to the Sandia National Laboratory, LNG is four times as explosive as crude oil. It is clear that the safe transportation of LNG should be taken extremely seriously. The hazardous material safety experts at the Department of Transportation should be the ones to determine whether or not it is safe to transport the LNG by rail. This amendment would take away that ability 
to do that by forcing DOT to allow for LNG transportation by rail no matter what the danger, no matter the danger. For that reason, I oppose this amendment. Madam Chair. Senator Wicker. I, I support the amendment. LNG is being transferred, is being transported through every community you, you mentioned in the state of Washington by truck. It is less energy efficient. If you were worried about greenhouse gas emissions, it, it emits less to ship them by rail. This is a simple amendment, as the senator from Texas says, has nothing to do with the Jones Act. I'm, I'm glad that, that we're off of that for a moment. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is about making a clean source of heating and, and, um, and energy available more easily to Americans and cutting the price that consumers are paying um, out of the nose. Uh, I, I really, it, it seems to me that, that there, there is no safety reason to oppose this amendment and every economic and pocketbook reason to support it. Uh, speaking again against the amendment, I, I definitely think it's very important that rail cars and the safety of rail cars meet a standard. And to me, having the secretary n being unable to issue regulations regarding that uh, doesn't seem like a great idea. So oppose the amendment. Any for yes, Madam Chair. Ahead, Senator Cruz. Uh, if I could respond briefly with two things. Number one, uh, the chairman said that we should, the Department of Transportation should evaluate the safety. Of course, the Department of Transportation did so when it issued this rulemaking. It went through the formal process of a rulemaking. It considered the safety and issued a rule. And it was President Biden and the political appointees of this administration that reversed that rule. Uh, secondly, uh, the, the chairman, I'm sure inadvertently, misdescribed what this amendment does because the chairman said it prevents any sort of DOT regulation on it. That's not accurate. What, what the amendment does is it prohibits the secretary from a long-term prohibition on the transportation of LNG, but it explicitly says in section B of the amendment, nothing in this section may be construed to limit the authority of the secretary of transportation to issue short-term emergency orders related to the transportation of li liquefied natural gas by rail. So there is ample authority to deal with safety issues that are genuine safety issues, but what there is not authority to do is to enter into a political decision to shut down LNG by rail because the Biden administration adamantly opposes American energy production of oil and gas, and as a consequence, gasoline prices and natural gas prices to heat your home are skyrocketing, and that is the direct and intended effect of policies put in place by Joe Biden and the political appointees in his administration. And this is now an opportunity for, for the members of this committee to decide whether they support higher energy prices for consumers and whether they support more pollution and more carbon emissions. Because if you vote no on this amendment, you are saying that LNG should be transported by truck, should pollute more and emit more carbon uh, because of, I suppose, a political animosity to American energy independence. I think, Senator, it's more about whether we tried to do congressional review amendment processes in the committee on a bill or whether we let that play out uh, with the normal process. And so I'd encourage my colleagues to vote no on this. Clerk will call the roll. No further comments.